Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokelover and thank you for joining me here in the second last episode of our campaign. That's right, second last. This will not be the last, but the second last episode. Now, right now we're taking a good look at the good thick Brotherhood of Mars led under Lucius. God dang, we're a really big country and I love every second of it. Right now, as you can tell maybe by the arrows, we are going to go ahead and take out some future slaves. As you can tell, I've already taken out everything that's between the ba Baja, California, all the way up to what was known as Oregon at one point. It's It's been so much fun, I'll be honest, it's been so much fun. Um, <clears throat> just destroying my enemies by using pretty much p only power armor. I've got, let's see, that's power armor. I only have two armies that have power armor, power armor, but these are the main two armies I've used the entire time. And my god, it's been so much fun. Just, oh, I love power armor so much. And uh, let's go ahead and go to war with the Mormons. Joshua Graham must burn. M must be crucified. But anyways, let's go and do that. And right now, I'm going to do my technique that I do did the entire time. I'll let the enemies try to kill me. And see how far they get. Uh, did they push in somewhere? Oh, they just took that. That's fine. I already have all my bases covered. And, um, yeah. I think we're doing really well. Uh, obviously, we're doing very, very, very well. Uh, in some locations, we have a little, we're a little light on power armor. I use most of my armies actually for this battle, for this war, which is fine. I mean, let the enemy tire themselves out first. But let's see how much. I also have a crap ton of planes. I have an insane amount of planes. For example, for energy cells, we have a current energy cell storage of 1.42 million. We get about 10,000.6 energy cells a day, and the air force can use up to a maximum of 46,000 per day. Just from energy cells. Navy is fine. Army is fine. But the Air Force? It's a massive Air Force. It's just incredibly amazing. I just love it so much. Actually, oh, Also, I've been doing a lot of tech stuff for my ships. And I wasn't going to upgrade any, a single one of my ships or do anything with ships or produce any new ships until all of this stuff, stuff was finished. So, I still obviously need to finish up some of this stuff, but that's okay. Uh, air power. What's going on with air power? We're doing 187 damage a day. In the central portion here in southeast Utah. Over here, not too much. Doing 250, 200-ish in southeast Utah like normal. Uh, we're also going to west Utah. Not really much else. Just southeast Utah is just so much damage. Oh, West Utah is getting a little bit of air damage as well. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, uh, by the way, it's 2291, so I've been playing this for quite a while. I've been playing this for quite a few hours in the day, and I see they... The enemy has actually broken through my line a little bit in the north. Oh, that's not good. But I'm not really too worried that much about it. I still have a few Praetorian guards, but I haven't really used them that much. If that's the case, and they want to attack... Well, we might just have to attack them back. With the Air Force that we have, I feel justified in pummeling them. I, forgot, I didn't realize that this was connected. Oh, well, they're going to die anyways. It doesn't really matter. Casualties so far, 9,000 versus 206. I like in the casualties. Also, I did say this is the second last episode just because I don't have enough time to show you the last episode where... Oh yeah, Mexico is still on fire, but Maximilian is uniting Mexico. I don't know how. Nueva Atzlan did pretty well down here, but then Maximilian got involved. Also, there's a cartel killing the free fighters, but whatever. Oh, nice. You guys cut these off. Uh, go ahead. Over here. And you guys can go ahead and stop. Go ahead and hold, stop. Centurion Paulus is doing a great job. Ah, uh, catapult. Glorious catapults. I'm also trying to save up my naval XP, even though I'm never really going to use it. Um, naval stuff. If you take a look at the main fleet up here, I have a ton of ships being trained. All in the name for daily naval XP. I'm training over 200 ships. Probably over 300 ships, and yet I only get 0.3 naval XP a day. Also, I do have a, a normal fleet down here, but I've kind of forgotten about them. Whatever. How many ships do I have in total? Let's see. That's at least 500. That's a lot of ships. For army, I'm fielding oh, about 300 special battalions. And I'm allowed almost 500, so we're not going to run out of power armor units anytime soon. And I love it. Uh, go ahead and take these guys out, guys. With the amount of air power that we have... I'm really not concerned about losses too much. Are they breaking anywhere else? They're attacking up here. 
Uh, this is the main, this is the first power armor general that we had. Prefectus Matus. He's almost a mountaineer. Just gaming that hoi for AI. Just, that's a thing of beauty. Really is a thing of beauty. Ah, uh, and, and they kind of stopped attacking. I'm going to wait for them to attack up here. The Mormons, so the, the thing about the Mormons, the reason I started recording this again, instead of just playing this, oh, they're out of manpower, is because normally they can have a lot, a massive amount of population, and I was going to say, you know, this is Utah territory. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to unite the Mormons under one branch and make them into slave baby makers. That's what's going to happen. New Canaan, you'll be known as slave baby maker capital of the wastes. I hope you're ready. Also, I'm ready to go ahead and just murder them all now. Also, I'm also justifying on Heaven's Gate. Are these also Mormons? They also might be. I don't know. Oh, I'm also justifying on them, though. So, Because they're in a faction, emergency sailing. So, obviously, we have the Mormon Alliance, but then we have Children of the Gate, in which I need to take out the Shoshone Nation, as well as New Hammond, eventually. Northern League. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe I should have justified on New Hammond, as well. Oh! 30 days ain't bad. That is not bad whatsoever. But yeah, tomorrow's video, it's just going to be me finishing up all these enemies, which mostly includes Maximilian, because he's kind of big. He's kind of a big nation. And I've kind of been not getting involved in Mexico, just to see how far Mexico can unite under one banner. So, and Maximilian's doing a really good job, because I want to at least have something of maybe a potential enemy to fight. Maybe. Uh, losses so far, 553 versus, ooh, oh, 80,000 dead Mormons. Uh, I got nothing against the Mormons, it's just, in, in Fallout, and, and playing as Khazar, it's just, oh, oh, crazy horns are gone. 90 millimeter deck cannons. That's not big enough, I need double action shell design, please, thank you. Get rid of you, throw you onto here, Oh. A 45 automatic pistol. 45 automatic, wow. An automatic 45, Jesus. You got a Tommy gun or something? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I couldn't see the Mormons die there. Uh. You guys can come this way. You go. Yeah, oh. They dead. Adaptable. Glorious. Galaxy 122,000 versus less than 1,000 of our own. Also, in 30 days, we need to kill these guys off. That's totally fine with me. Uh, who do I want to put up here? Uh, yeah, it's really best if you're all up here. I can maybe send... Well, uh, that's too many divisions. I might not be able to use just power armor for this battle. That wouldn't be very much fun. Um, If anything, I could send you maybe up here. Maybe send... Ah, there goes New Canaan. After two days of intense fighting, New Canaan has fallen to the Brotherhood of Mars. Mormon troops bravely defended the settlement until the early hours of the morning, falling back to hastily constructed defensive lines on no less than seven occasions. Whilst an order to withdraw was given late last night following a successful enemy instrument action, the Mormon defenders of the city refused to acknowledge the order and instead took up highly defensible positions in the center of the settlement. It was only thanks to heavy ordnance that their last stand was put down. In the morning light, it was clear that the settlement had been devastated. Brotherhood of Mars spared no quarter in crushing resistance to their rule, and many buildings lie in smoldering ruins, including the Church of Je Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons' main place of worship. Oh, the poor Mormons. Oh, they should have obliged me when I told them, come hither. Oh yeah, just keep going, guys. Um, for y'all, y'all doing right. I got nothing against the Mormons, except I want to use their bodies. Eh, he must have come up here too. Since we got those guys done. Shishou Nation, I'm gonna wait. I wanna bottleneck the enemies as much as possible when I attack them. Um, which means I need to start thinking about more of my navy. So you guys stop doing what you're doing down here. I want everyone to come over here to Navarro. Because I'm gonna need some help covering some spots around these rivers potentially. Oh, beautiful. New Canyon is about to fall. Nothing could be prettier than that. Oh, nice. I got a lot of air bases up there. Very good. Also, for infrastructure, I've been building a lot of infrastructure. All of this, a lot of this, not all of it, but a lot of it is already complete. So, I've been spending my time diligently building, building, building. Because that's what the Roman army did, you know? When they were not doing anything, they just decided to go ahead and build some roads, you know? Just, just Roman things. Come 
on, give me that spot. Yeah. Yeah, I know I have more factories there. I already have 1,500 factories. I don't think I need that much more. If I'm wasting them, whatever. It doesn't really matter at all. Uh, blimps. I need more resources for more blimps. So, oh, there we go. So, I'm going to keep New Canaan. I'm going to puppet them. Good. And then... Uh, just for gameplay purposes, I'm going to puppet all these guys, actually. Or maybe not. You know what, I'm just going to annex these guys in. I don't want to give New Canaan territory that much. There you go. Alright, New Canaan, make me babies. That's all I want from you. Give me all your babies. Oh, crap, that means we have to protect this side, too. That's alright, bring in the power armor. We have until January 13th, so I'm not really worried about that whatsoever. Oh, uh, but I'm going to need to build this up. So if you don't want me to, if you don't want to see the, I'm going to need to build this more up. Uh, if you don't want to see the Mormons alive, let me know, and I'll just straight up annex them. And by the time the next video goes up, uh, Burley, yeah, go and do that, do that. Awesome. Of course, a few more factories. What am I building? Ba battery carriers? God, I need more resources. I am minus 882 and minus 919 resources. Great. Deck cannons. Uh, attacking now probably wouldn't be the best idea. We're suffering a little bit of attrition. We have until when to attack the Heavenly Gate. February 1st, we got a little bit of time to build a little bit more infrastructure, which I have been building very well under construction engineering as well as Centurion Perseus gives us more in infrastructure bonus as well as Tabularius Earnhardt gives us plus 25% infrastructure construction speed. Oh yeah! Now, so do wow. The next infrastructure will be done on the 3rd. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Yeah, give me that infrastructure. I'm a sucker for infrastructure. That was terrible. I'm a sucker for infrastructure. So bad. Um, they're not really attacking me. And I'm a little disappointed. But, you know, the show must go on. Also, we justified on them. We justified on them. <clears throat> By the time we're done with the Children of the Gate, we'll be next to Bellingham. As well as the Northern League. The Northern League is going to be a little bit of a problem. But I'm going to wrap around the Shoshone and take him out when I get there. So... Uh, there is a few pathways we can attack them if we play our cards right. There you go. 105 days. We got plenty of political power. Um, I wish these guys would hurry up. I might justify on the Sinaloa Cartel just for now. Just because you never know if we need to really do that. Come on down here. Alright, beautiful losses. 34 versus... About 3,000. Not bad, not bad. Power armor, just go ahead and stroll right on in. Ah, James Coburn, I'm sorry, but your time's up, son. Your time's up. Beautiful. Um, time to figure out how we're gonna kill off these guys. Because we have until February 1st. Where can I put my little divisions? All right here. That's all I'm going to use. Oh, we also have some research. Cool. Uh, naval modules. We got these last three to do first. Doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. Smoot and Jackson. Very nice. Spring buffer mechanism. Ships should be over there now. Very good. Convoy rating over here. They should not be able to get through here, so that should be good. Uh, Mormon waterways. They don't have a lot of waterways, which is really good for us. Good. Uh, do that, that, that. That, that. Awesome. 
And I'm purposely saving my naval XP. So. Because I want to actually upgrade some ships when I get there. New Canaanite's got a lot of destroyers, though. 93 of them. Jesus. Alright. Uh, this is... This did stretch my line kind of thin. I kind of don't like it this thin. So... Where are y'all at? Y'all are down here. You might need to come help the boys up top. I might not be able to hold that line like that. If anything, you know what? Throw a few more boys on there. Because I don't know if you, how fast these guys are going to actually get up there. So... We have until February 1st. Give our guys a few more days. Oh, we also should also probably build up a little bit more air power. Uh, I've got about 14,000 nuclear-powered attack planes. That's not bad. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. These The Super Fortress give you the most ground attack per plane. So, whatever. I'll use them. Let's go ahead and go to war. Oh, and we can lower the autonomy of a puppet. Oh, already? Nice. I don't really need their divisions either, so... Um... Good. Call them in. Oh, there we go. That's why they weren't attacking me yet. Duh. Oh, and those guys, those infantry already left. Alright, let's take a quick look at air power. Outrigger. I love it. Eh, it's not that much. Eh, it's a little bit. Not bad. Only 35. Three and a half. Those uh, super fortresses are doing pretty well. We're going to maybe lose this tile, actually. Even though they're doing a ton of damage. Losses so far, about 5,000. Pretty good. How's this looking over here? Can I take all but one and move up this way? So, they can't pierce me, and I can pierce them. We don't have that much air support over here, because I don't think I've really developed the air power on this group. But uh, Benjamin Brown, he's not doing so well right now. How many more days do we have until we can go to war with uh, Bellingham Union? Let's see. Uh, about 40 more days or so. 50, 40. 100 more days until we can kill the Sinaloa Cartel. If they're not dead already. Or if they win. Oh boy. I might need more than one army down there. Depth Fuse. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, deploy units. Huh. Alright, tribal militia. And of course, power armor. Alright, what's the manpower of these guys up here? Lemuel Belknap. Alright, no manpower left. Alright, thank you very much. Close air support or ace pilot promoted, no manpower left. And then of course, like typical, they still have a little bit of manpower left. Wait, oh, tribal militia. I'm not sure why you got rid of this. Nice. Ace pilot promoted. Okay, another pilot was promoted. Oh, look at these bodies. There's so many bodies here. You know what? Let's make it a little bit more fun. I'm pulling you off the line. I'm going to pull you down. I'm not going to pull you south. I'm going to pull you over here. Where are y'all at? I'm going to pull you south because I might need you to kill, kill off Sinaloa Cartel. You guys are already down here. That would be good. What are you guys doing? You still want to kill off... Sorry, the Mormons are done. The Mormons are beaten up. You can't kill them all. I still need them for slaves. Alright, they're attacking us. They still seem, have, seem to have a little bit of manpower left, which is fine. Let them think that they're winning. Or at least not losing. Bellingham Union has quite a few guys. That's fine, that's fine. Power armor. Thank you. I will take more boys. And we are, of course, getting attacked on this side. All ten divisions are over here. Beautiful. Ah, oh, Pierre Greer. You are nothing compared to Tribunus Ilanius. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, oh, God, that's so good. Losses. Just a few 18,000 men have died for the enemy side. A few 18,000. Come on, I hope to bait these guys a little bit harder. Blowback feeding system. Cool. Oh, Mormons divisions. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. What if we wanted to attack, though? What if we really wanted to attack with just power armor? What if we were doing over 100 uh, damage? 
Wow. That's a lot of damage. Oh, oh crap, I can go to well with them now. Uh, that justification might be over by the time we can actually go get up there. Uh, I'm gonna have to tell you guys... You guys are up here too? Cool. Go ahead and go ham with them. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do that yet. I might have d done that a little bit too early. But whatever. You can always do it again. Sinaloa Cartel, you're not looking so good. Hey buddy, you're not looking so good. Come on. Actually, who do we have to capitulate? We have to capitulate just Heaven's Gates. So that's really all that matters. Uh, a couple more Mormon divisions. No, thank you. I'm okay. 43,000 losses versus about 600. Uh, grappling harpoons. I love them. Ah, HP. More ships. More. Ah, ships. More HP. Just beautiful. Who's the leader? Elanius. Ah. Who dares wins? Good, good, good. He's a mountaineer. He's an organizer. Current progress, 93% of the way for XP. 94. Awesome. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and of course... Uno, 100. Uno, 100. Beautiful. Oh, and they've, they've actually came this way. Uh, let you guys stop. I'm gonna... Uh, you're over there. Uh, you guys come back down down here. Yeah, maybe I had that justification for Billingham Union a tad bit too early. Yeah, that's alright. Whatever. That's alright. Whatever. Alright, very nice. Very nice. Shrapnel shells. We're gonna do that one real quick. Oh, the Mo my Mormon allies are here to help defend, so oh, no no biggie. Oh, but the infrastructure is probably going to really suck up here. Oh, look at all those divisions. Tons of enemy divisions. Tons and tons and tons and tons. Also, there wasn't any special event, but I've got a special event for us right now. The Farnsworth Expedition to New Beijing. We found a hidden ca tech cache. However, we must get someone to crack it. Should we have the BOS help or these Mormons we've heard little about? Mormons? We have received a transmission from people calling themselves she, the Brotherhood. Well, the Brotherhood is dead. How about our Mormon allies? That's the only event that I've really seen so far. W within the co mild compilation that I used, or said I was using in the beginning, just because I wanted to see if anything radically cool would happen, and nothing radically cool is actually taking place, so. Oh well. Maybe in another game, another uh, campaign, they'd actually do something cool. Uh, but it looks like we're kind of stuck in place right now. But, that won't last very long when I do this. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and kick some butt. Just destroy them. They won't be able to hold up to all the air support that... Yeah, that's a lot of air support. From less than 300 planes. That's a lot of air support. And, oh, wow, we can already go to war with Sinaloa Cartel. Well, so be it. Uh, do this. Give me half of you guys. Come over here. And do that. You guys are down south as well, which is good. Give me half of y'all. Do that. And give me the other half to guard, like, around here or something. I'm really not concerned with a Sinaloa cartel. Alright, give me about, like, I don't know, three more seconds and I'll go to war with them. Mm, we're doing okay up here. Alright. Good enough, good enough, good enough, good enough. Nice, this looks all done, finally, thank god. Air power, we still have a lot of things we could do for air power, I suppose. Transport gliders, sure, why not. Finish up all of this stuff, and then maybe we'll start making some ships. Maybe. Maybe. 
Uh, how are you guys doing? You're not really going too far. New Thebes. Give them a few days worth of planning and then we'll have a good time with them. Alright, good enough. Power armor. Really the goal is to get over here. Once these guys finish up this area, it's going to be pretty easy. There's quite a few factories I've got there. It'd be a shame if uh, I killed everyone using them. That's that's a lot of losses, not gonna lie. That's a lot of dead enemies. Oof. A lot of dead enemies. How's in with the cartel doing? <clears throat> We've been doing very well. Very well against the cartel. Nice. She capitulate soon. I'm not gonna give any anything to the freedom fighters. Free fighters, they don't deserve it. Uh oh, convoy. Yeah, when you do convoy raiding. And do that area in there too. There go the pharaohs, and there goes the cartel. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's going to take a while for me to do. Oh. But this campaign was pretty fun, not going to lie. It was pretty fun playing as Kaiser's Legion. Never did it before on my channel. Alright, thank you very much. Obviously, you're going to be... Uh, should you be next? Yeah, you should really be next. For me to take out two armies. Oh, we got some stuff up here. Very nice. Specialized stuff. Oh, should not have done that. That's alright, though. Brotherhood, Mormons, blah, blah, blah. Gonna take these guys out. Whatever, good enough. And what we're really gonna do is just focus on the Free Fighters. Because we got enough divisions to do so. Because why not meddle in Mexican affairs when Mexico doesn't, can't even keep itself properly, you know, united? Ah. Oh. They can have a place right next to my other slaves, the, the Mormons. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good enough. That should be enough to for us to successfully push into Mexico and hold whatever line we'd need good enough good enough and then good enough that yeah, should be good enough just go ahead whenever you can I'm not I don't think they have that much manpower left oh against all odds they actually wanna okay they got a lot of manpower left they actually wanna kill me thank god I might have an enemy that doesn't like me or maybe they don't have a lot of equipment. Yeah, that's probably it. Um, you guys are doing okay up there. You're killing off these guys. Make it a little bit faster. And have you guys take these guys out. Heaven's Gate's taking a while to take you out. Kind of surprised. A little bit surprised. Not really that surprised. Uh, I've got 108 ships here. An extra 108 ships. I'm going to tell them to do... Uh... Split in half again. Split in half one more time. Do this. Put him under a new management. Find a new commander. Centurion Tatios. This will be our next task force for now, but I really need to kill the cartels off. Or, this is not a cartel, it's a uh, free fighters. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Uh, but we gotta finish this Mormon tyranny. Or the Bellingham Tyranny, or, or the Heaven's Gate Tyranny. That's right. The Tyranny of the Heaven's Gate. Yeah. I get all these Northerners mixed up. Nothing like getting rid of our Northern enemies. Oh, Power Armor. Take you first. Get rid of you. Power Armor Divisions. I will never get... Ooh. Never get rid of you. Las... I said Las Mocha. I'm like, La Mocha? Who's La Mocha? But, unfortunately, Moko is no longer here with us. Against all odds, gains liberate war goal against Brotherhood of Mars. Come at me, Luchador. Come at me. You look overweight. Mil Mascaras. Bring it on. Because I got plasma warheads to throw at you. 
that sounds like a, that sounds like a lot of fun. Plasma warheads. Oh yeah. Oh good, I got encircled. But mm, my division doesn't seem to really be having any problems with that. Um, all right, just go to buddy up here and go to Pound Town. Where are y'all at? Ah, uh, you're still taking your time. Ah, uh, oh, Maximilian, good job. Oh, you still have the Vice Royalty to take out too. Oh, I wish I, I would hope they'd add in Cuba sometime. That'd be a lot of fun if they actually did. Oh, please research. Okay, I thought it was going to crash. It's a railgun. Holy cow. I wish they were adding Cuba. That'd be kind of cool they did. Haiti, maybe? Nuclear Haiti? Fallout Haiti? Oh, are they... No, we're still attacking. I will end the episode once we get rid of these guys. And maybe when we go to the free... Oh! There they go. Transport gliders. Cool. Are we losing? No, we're on the advance. Like normal. If you're... Not on advance, that means you're on defense. And if you're on defense, you're losing. Alright. Losses, 3,000. So much for free fighters. Ah, my old nemesis. More factories. Transport gliders, because why the hell not? I've literally put 300 planes on making just the biggest, baddest blimps known to man. And I can't even make them. Look at all the supply. So much supply. It's beautiful. Except for some of this stuff. Ah, there we go. Who dares wins? Wait. Did I take that? Huh. Oh, right. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. So, that's all the time for that we really have today. Uh, I'll finish off the Freedom Fighters. I mean, it's not like... It's not like there's going to be any major surprise with the Free Fighters, probably. They're just... Free Fighters? Yeah, they might take a territory piece or two, but no one really cares. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I'm going to keep playing this and take out Alaska and the Northwest United States. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, and tomorrow will be the last video in this campaign where I take on the second, second Mexican Empire and establish total domination over the wastes as Lucius. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great day.